uh, it's not a joke though. It's, uh, it's just how I greet people. The way I see it is if I say it enough times, someone will have sex with me out of pity. <laughs> uh, probably the main reason why I haven't had sex yet is probably because I have very little uh, luck speaking with women, which isn't great if you want to start a relationship, but on the plus side, I'm basically immune to the Me Too movement. <laughs> you got the best alibi, right? Everyone accuses me of sexual harassment, I just turn back and say, what, you think you can have a conversation with a woman? <laughs> Ask anyone, I freak out at times. Uh, another reason is that I used to be over 350 pounds. Yeah, so if anyone tried to have sex with me, they probably just bounce off, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, so while I'm on the subject, I have lost over 125 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. As you can clearly tell by looking at me, you take one look at me and you say, that's a guy who treats his body like a temple. It's great losing 125 pounds. Not so great losing 125 pounds and still looking like this. This is my after picture, but it looks like a before picture. I'm in the best shape of my life. That's the worst thing about me. So, losing weight. Here's the thing about losing weight. When you're eating healthy, Anytime someone brings any unhealthy food to wherever you are, it seems like a personal offense. <laughs> hey guys, I brought some cupcakes to this party. You want some? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> I dare you provide delicious food out of the loving and you'll up your heart. <laughs> Speaking of unhealthy food, I've taken notice of what M&M's is doing and it's kind of fucked up. Like, have you noticed the packaging on peanut butter M&M's? It's the red M&M, but he's got a glop of peanut butter around his head, shaped in a horrendous, huge hairdo. Resembling, well, who's the first person you think of when I say huge, horrendous hairdo? <laughs> eh, Jimmy Neutron. Uh, no, it's, it's, Donald, no, it's Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump, they're putting political humor on candy wrappers, which I think is nuts. I don't want 2020 to roll around and start seeing Skittles wearing pantsuits. <laughs> I don't want to see this. I don't want, like what about the commercials? What are the commercials going to be like? We're going to build a bowl, we'll build a great bowl, and Reese's Pieces is going to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard plenty of people say, I don't melt in their hand, and despite what fake news tells you, I melt in your mouth, believe me. <laughs> Um, the other thing I know about M&M's is that they're coming up with way too many fucking flavors. Like, they have Neapolitan M&M's, I've noticed. Meaning they put chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry into one M&M. They're playing God at this point. Like, they started with peanuts, but ever since then it's been a never-ending series of, Oh, you thought we were fucking done! <laughs> Like they got pretzel, caramel, peanut butter, Nutella. They have coffee bean M&Ms, which you're not even supposed to eat coffee beans. <laughs> I can just see them in their secret lab going, oh, they sound different crazy, but look who's in Africa now. And then the m and starts breaking out of its constraints. Ah, it's breaking through the village. It's giving everyone type 2 diabetes. <laughs> So I work as a, is that the one minute? Okay, good, that's all I need. So I work as a, so I work as a cashier at BJ's, uh, which working as a cashier at BJ's, your duties include scanning items, packing them into carts, and listening to people complain about how Costco is better. <laughs> so here's a story about when I was working as a cashier at BJ's. There was this middle-aged married couple, and they were buying condoms. At BJ's, which means we're selling them in bulk, so it's like 40 condoms. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so anyway, I don't care what people do with their condoms, I'm an adult. They seem to need to justify their purchase to me though. They said to me, oh, this isn't for us, this is for our son. He's going to college and we want to make sure he's protected. As if that's supposed to make me feel more comfortable. <laughs> These people are investing in their son's sexual expades. That's that's a little more creepy than thinking about two old people fuck, right? <laughs> now I'm thinking of them dropping him off at college saying, 
Okay, son, you gotta keep your head straight, study hard, listen to your teachers, and just slay that pussy. <laughs> Here, we got you a box of 40 condoms. Now, no pressure, but why don't you get your money's worth and just do it on the reg for us, right? <laughs> just, just remember when you're busting it, your nut into a hot co-ed, just think of your dear old mom and pop, okay? <laughs> now, I, I gotta admit, I'm pretty jealous of this kid, right? My parents got me a box of 40 condoms. I think they were playing a prank on me. Because <laughs> I'm a virgin. That's how you bring a bit full circle. Okay, my name's Adam Newton. You've been an audience tonight.